Go on location and behind the scenes with Hallmark Channel's original movie, The Wish List. Qualifications for the man I will marry. No exceptions. Yes. Yes. You're a genius. I was joking. I'm not. I'm going to make a list. A non-negotiable list of traits a guy has to have or he's out from the get-go. No more chasing Mr. Wrong. Qualifications for the man I'll marry. Must love his family. She decides she's going to marry this perfect man and she makes this ridiculously extraordinary list. Forget the Ten Commandments. You've got, uh, uh 19? 22. She's looking out for Sarah to make sure that she's finding the right guy and not overlooking who might be the right guy because she's so focused in on this list. Can I have a large, non-fat, half-calf latte? Please, an extra shot of calf. I don't think so. She walks into this coffee shop and encounters me, and I am definitely in the not qualities column, but she slowly starts to find herself attracted to me. Oh, excuse me, I, 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 are you all right? And she meets me, and I seem to meet all the criteria on her list, but she's missing the crucial element, which is that unexplained chemistry that we have. Sometimes, you know, we, we don't have any control over who we fall in love with. It just happens. On paper, it appears like, oh my god, this is the guy. What's not to love? but then she has to learn otherwise. So today she brings home a man who is perfect. You just whipped this up. This would take me hours. That's nothing. Got everything I needed in the fridge. This is the best pasta I ever ate in my whole entire life. Wow. Pop thought he'd do the grilling, and um, that doesn't go so well. Oh my god. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Daddy. Oh. But fortunately, there's a doctor in the house. So um, Eric runs over and, and saves the day and proving that he really is, you know, just a guy to die for. On paper, he's everything that she made this list about. He's handsome, he's intelligent, he's a doctor, he owns his own home, all these things that she thought were so important. She's got a lot of preconceived notions in her head about what the perfect guy is going to be like. You know, I think I represent somebody who's a little wild, a little um, to the left of center, lives a little bit more in the moment, trying to uh, have fun out of life. What you drinking? Oh, I'll have a um, Chardonnay. Two zombies, please. I think it's totally against what she really wanted to go for, but it just happens. Like, you can't plan who you fall in love with. Well, you know what they say, you can't judge a book by its cover. No, you can't, can you? They're both so perfectly cast, and they're, they're really, really great guys, and they're great actors, so it's easy working with both of them. I don't know, we've, we've just sort of hit it off. And what's kind of great is, you know, I, I'm married, she's engaged. We're just, we've become sort of buddies, and so we can just be relaxed and have fun together. Jennifer's a really easy person to work with. You know, she's fun and just a great girl, and uh, the chemistry's been great and easy and playful, and it's, it's actually been a piece of cake. Sorry, I, I can't answer this. I, I, I need a different beat. No, no, just, just have fun with it. Fun. Uh, like, uh, all right, like Fred? It was so perfect because he was, he's playing it so square yeah. that all of a sudden, then he busts out in his dance. It was perfect for the character because I was just standing there staring at him. Like, how on earth did you learn this dance? And he's so good at it. So Eric did such a good job with doing the whole Saturday Night Fever thing. And then David in this ridiculous costume. It was just, it was really funny. It was a very fun day. You know, there isn't really a whole lot out there that that the whole family can enjoy and, and appreciate on, on their own level. There's going to be something in it for everyone. Um, it's nice to be able to get everybody in the room at the same time. So I've suddenly become a family guy, it's, it's, uh, it, and it's a, it's a great transition. So the idea now of, of doing something that you know my family can watch, it's very appealing to me. My sister is going to love watching this with her children, and I think it's great. I think we need some bright spots nowadays. You know, whether it just be to sit back and watch a good movie with your family. I like the message of it. You know, what's meant to be is sort of right in front of you. I have to say, I have definitely made a list. Don't miss the fun and romance of Hallmark Channel's original movie, The Wish List.